Hello everyone, this is Eric Sove. Some may know me as Z Power Never. So today, I'm walking you through the um, Power Virtual Agent integration with AI Builder Sentiment Analysis. If you want all the details, just go through the uh, whole article in my blog. In this one, I'll just walk you through the different uh, items that I've created and uh, the final result. So, first step, I want to show you how the bot works. So I'll start with saying hi to the bot. The bot will reply to me, get the uh, general greeting uh, topic, and it will ask to identify myself. And pretty much what I've done this is um, for um, uh, analysis purposes. So I can track after that uh, who's responded what, and uh, if it was positive, negative, uh, uh, neutral the sentiment and if the actual feedback provided the analysis was adequate based on your analysis so uh, so let's go here this is a great blog thanks Eric okay so that sends out the uh, message over to flow to AI Builder Sentiment Analysis, the pre-built model. I get a reply back, and now it tells me that, um, uh, can you confirm the sentiment analysis seems valid to you? This was detected as positive. Indeed, it's positive, so I just say yes. And again, I've added that just to be able to track if the overall result seems to be, um, the sentiment analysis seems to be uh, a valid or not. So. I just say yes, uh, this was correct. So in the background, what it's gonna do actually is it's gonna go and send that in my CDS uh, database, store that for uh, review afterwards. So um, since it was positive, and I have different um, tracks, in this case, uh, when it's positive, I just send it over to uh, be able to share that or no, and keep on based on that, um, it will uh, send that over and then I loop over. So now let's view the uh, bot, how it was. The first topic I'm gonna look at is the greeting. Greeting is with the hi and all the uh, different trigger phrases. So we start and get the message and I just actually redirect at the end, I redirect to my AI Builder Sentiment Analysis uh, topic. So let's go to that one. That's where the core is. And again, in the uh, article, you get all the details on how to uh, get that started. So here, what I do is first step, I ask the question about identifying the person, keep that uh, into a variable, and then uh, ask the actual question that I will use to uh, pass on to the, to the flow. In the flow, this is the action of calling the flow. Uh, I pass on that uh, actual message and get the feedback. So let's go and look at the flow itself, which is within a solution. Keep that in mind. I have my flow here. So the basic uh, part of the HTTP request in and out that was uh, already templated, but I modified it to only have a string input in my, in my case. Once that's done, I pass that into a variable just to uh, initialize the output that I'll, I'll send back to the uh, agent and then pass that to the pre-built action of sentiment analysis model and I just pass in the input string. If you want to know uh, where I got this, simply in the Microsoft doc, in the AI Builder Automate Sentiment Analysis Model. You get all the details here of what you need to send. And watch out for the, those double quotes. Sometimes when you copy paste, it's like a fancy one and it may fail. So uh, just make sure you put actual double quotes in there. So you get the steps here and you get the JSON to parse afterwards. So if I go back to my flow, second step, parse JSON, so that's the result. And then I simply use that result and send that back to my bot in the output string. Back to the bot. So 
I got the output string and then I just uh, there again for analytic purposes I send back that uh, result to you and ask the user if that's uh, a valid analysis or not and I call in my second flow which is not in the article but it's just uh, so you know um, the second one which is the um, the one where I post the data over to CDS so there again I have my HTTP request I say what I want in there which is the username that I got from the first step the actual message that is sent what was the pre prediction and if it was a positive response so it, was it uh, valid based on your analysis or not I sent that over to uh, my PVA results tracking which is a entity that I created in my CDS and sorry this is the one and then just uh, go back with it a okay uh, back to the flow because I didn't really need to do take action on that afterwards so once I get that back I look at my standard um, action based on the condition based on the analysis so if it's positive negative neutral what do I do so if it's positive I'm saying it's glad I ask the question if uh, you want to share if you want to share or not then I would uh, could send it to uh, maybe a Facebook page or, or so on um, if not I just can say thank you keep that as history and if for example um, this was uh, go back here it's a negative then I would uh, possibly transfer that to an agent now uh, within this demo environment I don't have an actual agent so I just pretend and uh, neutral maybe I want to ask uh, more details and uh, bottom line what I do in each step I'm going back to an intermediate step why is that because this allows me in that intermediate step here this allows me to loop back to uh, my topic so this one is just saying okay we're done let's just loop back and I just ask the question so this way you can exit so if it's uh, true I just loop back to the sentiment analysis otherwise I end the conversation back to the general topic and what I have here uh, so yeah in each case I look back and pretty much done here so let's look at the actual results that I stored in I can see in the app is here some cases of where it was positive or uh, negative and so on and if the actual result was as expected if we look at this one teams working hard to deliver the solution and everyone is doing his best at achieve the ultimate goal the sentiment was positive and the user feels that, that was right let's look at the one where it's not actually the case so uh, here I feel very happy because the Dallas Cowboys lost they were sad and the sentiment is negative but the actual per, uh, user that submitted that feels like this was not the right analysis so the idea here is to um, gather more data and see how that, that does that perform. That's about it. Thank you. I hope you liked it.